top five knockout artists in UFC welterweight history. The quickest and most exciting way to end a bout in the octagon is by knockout. Over the years, we've witnessed some of the most incredible jaw-dropping knockouts. In fact, the UFC welterweight division has arguably produced some of the most iconic knockouts of all time. In this video, we're covering the top five knockout artists in UFC welterweight history. So sit back and enjoy. Be sure to like and subscribe for more amazing content. Number five, Carlos Condit. Although Condit was never the most dominant welterweight in the UFC, he beat Nick Diaz at 143 to become the UFC interim champion. It's fair to say that at his peak, Carlos Condit was definitely one of the most skilled and most exciting fighters on the entire roster. The Natural Born Killer debuted in the promotion following a run as the WEC's welterweight champion, while he lost his octagon debut in a tight clash with Martin Campman, a defeat he later avenged. It didn't take him long to find his form. He had his first of many knockouts in the first round of a fight against Antonio Zamara and a Fuequez production match. Since then, he has had numerous knockout wins in the octagon, most notably Don Young Kim, Martin Campman, Diego Alves, Roy McDonald, and Dan Hardy, a fight that earned him the Knockout of the Night award. Number four, Jorge Masvidal. While the early stages of his UFC career were largely marked by fights that often went the distance and usually saw a controversial decision go against him, he took a hiatus from the octagon. When he returned to action in 2019, Masvidal quickly developed a fierce reputation as a knockout artist. This reputation was essentially built off the back of two brutal knockouts, one over Darren Till in the UK-based fighter's home country, and one over Ben Askren in a fight that lasted just five seconds. With the latter KO, Gamebred set a promotional record in the process. His third TKO victory over Nate Diaz made him the UFC's first BMF champion. Yeah, I was fucked because I had a cut for my last fight three weeks ago, but yeah, I didn't think they were gonna stop it. I was getting ready to get started. Masvidal has a total of 16 knockout wins in his career. Apart from the names mentioned earlier, he has also stopped Jake Ellenberger, Cesar Ferreira, Matt Lee, and a host of others. Gamebred has shown when things don't go his way, he comes out with something unexpected which leaves the world in disbelief. Number three, Matt Brown. Arguably the most unlikely name on this list is welterweight Matt Brown, the immortal who emerged in the UFC following an appearance on the seventh season of The Ultimate Fighter, has 16 UFC knockouts to his name, and it's conceivable that he could still add more too. Brown debuted in the octagon with a knockout over Matt Arroyo, but despite gaining a reputation for remarkably exciting fights, it never looked like he'd develop into a UFC title contender. By the end of 2011, his overall record with the promotion was 5-5, five and five, and despite having three knockouts to his name, he was probably close to being cut from the roster. However, Brown turned things around as 2012 began. He started the year with a knockout win over Chris Cope and went on to reel off seven wins in a row, including knockouts of Mike Swick, Eric Silva, and Jordan Meehan. to put himself in line for a potential title shot. That shot unfortunately never came due to back-to-back -back losses to Robbie Lawler and Johnny Hendricks. But in the years that followed, the immortal kept on dropping bodies. Other notable knockouts include Douglas and Diego Lima, James Wilkes, Mike Pyle, Ben Saunders, and Diego Sanchez a fight in which he landed a brutal elbow that sent Diego into the shadow realm. Number two, Matt Hughes. Not only is Matt Hughes considered one of the greatest welterweights of all time, but a knockout artist as well. 
Hughes, another exceptional well-rounded fighter, has totaled 17 knockouts up until this point in his career. Now we all know the UFC is guilty of exaggerating, but back in 2006 when they brought out Hughes as the greatest welterweight of all time, it wasn't exactly that far from the truth. Hughes actually debuted in the Octagon way back in 1999, but it was when he returned to the promotion in 2001 following a short period away that he really made an impact. Hughes slammed Carlos Newton into unconsciousness to claim the welterweight title and then went on to reel off five successful title defenses, crushing the lights of Hiato Sakurai and Frank Trigg to climb to the top of most observers' pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Hughes' other notable finishes include Hayato Sakurai, Royce Gracie, and Henzo Gracie. Number 1. Robbie Lawler Also known by other names like Ruthless and The Brawler, Lawler is considered to be one of the most entertaining MMA fighters of all time. Other than UFC, he has also competed in multiple other organizations like Strikeforce, Elite XC, Pride, and IFL and has been a former Elite XC middleweight champion. Everybody knows Lawler likes to stand and bang. The blood-crazed former UFC welterweight champion is beloved for his action-packed stand-up battles and his fight-ending knockout power. A stat in 2017 by MMA Fighting's Mike Chiapetta showed how addicted Lawler was to the stand-up side of mixed martial arts. He said in a post on Twitter that according to his research, in 30 fights for major organizations spanning 5 hours, 26 minutes, and 36 seconds, he has never attempted a single submission. Highlighting just how powerful and feared Lawler was during his prime is a must. Ruthless has compiled 21 victories by knockout and is responsible for some of the most notable and vicious knockouts in MMA history. His knockout victories over Matt Lindland and Melvin Manoff, while competing in Strike Force, are must watch highlights for fans who have not seen the power of Lawler. The five time MMA champion is quickly approaching retirement and will look to end his career with a bang. Notable knockouts from Lawler include Frank Trigg, Mario Hua, Josh Koscheck. Jake Ellenberger. Royal McDonald. And Nick Diaz. That's a wrap on today's video, guys. Let us know which knockout artist was the most intriguing in the comments section below. If you feel like one should have made the list, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ready for more MMA content? Click one of the videos on the screen. See you in the next video.